Ohio CDL Passenger Vehicles Test Question 1. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop Dark and poorly lighted As safe as possible, or the next stop Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 2. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 3. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 250 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 4 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door it must be secured when the bus is being driven Always have a red door light turned on Not have any signs Stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 5 Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 6. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 0 6 8 4 Answer 8 Question 7. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Answer Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 8. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 50 25 15 Answer 15 Question 9. Never refuel your bus with a higher grade of fuel, without a static chain, with any of the windows open, in a closed building with passengers on board. Answer In a closed building with passengers on board.
Question 10. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 11. You must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells within two feet of any window in front of the standee line within two feet of an emergency exit answer in front of the standee line question 12 your bus is disabled the bus with riders aboard may be towed or pushed to a safe place only if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders, buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards, buy another bus with its four way flashers on. Answer If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders, Question 13. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 14. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 15. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 16. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 17. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 18 if a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. 
Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 19. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 20. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25 15 50 20 Answer 15 Question 21. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 5 feet. 10 yards. 100 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 22. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 23. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 24. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 25. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 26. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 27. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 6 0 8 Answer 0
Question 28. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet 50 feet 5 feet 10 yards Answer 50 feet Question 29 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Tear gas Emergency hospital supplies Emergency drug shipments Small arms ammunition, ORMT Answer Tear gas Question 30. Never refuel your bus. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 31. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 32. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 15 25 50 Answer. 15. Question 33. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 34. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15. 25. 20. 50. Answer. 15. Question 35. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 36. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 8 6 0 Answer 0 Question 37. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 38. 
A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 39. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 6 0 8 4 Answer 0 Question 40. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 41. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 42. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Off the regular route As safe as possible, or the next stop The next stop Dark and poorly lighted Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 43. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 44. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 45. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher and accident reporting kit fire extinguisher spare electric fuses reflectors answer fire extinguisher spare electric fuses reflectors question 46 how many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural farm Workers zero six eight four answer eight question forty seven when is it best to wear your seat belt only if required by company policy. 
only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Answer. Always. Question 48. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop, dark and poorly lighted, the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 49. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer. 8. Question 50. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 51. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds. 250 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 52 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop, the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 53. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 54. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 15 50 25 Answer 15 Question 55 If there is no traffic light or attendant how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet 100 feet 10 yards 5 feet Answer 50 feet Question 56. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always.
Question 57. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 5 feet. 10 yards. 100 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 58. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 59. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 60. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 61. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Off the regular route. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 62. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 63. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition. ORMT Emergency Hospital Supplies Answer Tear Gas Question 64 When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Answer. Always. Question 65. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 
500 pounds. Question 66. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 67. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Answer. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 68. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition. ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 69. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Answer you need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 70. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 25 20 15 50 Answer. 15. Question 71. Never refuel your bus. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 72. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 0 4 6 8 Answer. 8. Question 73. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 74. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 8 4 6 0 Answer 0 Question 75. 
When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 76. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 77. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is off the regular route, as safe as possible, or the next stop. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 78. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer not allow them to do it. Question 79. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is the next stop. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Off the regular route. Answer. As safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 80. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 81. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 82. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Four. Zero. Six. Eight. Answer. Zero. Question 83. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 84. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. 
Answer. Tear gas. Question 85. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 86. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 87. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 88. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 89. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Off the regular route Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 90. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Question 91. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit, reflectors, fire extinguisher. Accident Reporting Kit Answer Fire Extinguisher, Spare Electric Fuses, Reflectors Question 92. Never refuel your bus With any of the windows open In a closed building with passengers on board Without a static chain with a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 93. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. 
anywhere except the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 94. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 95 Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 96. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 97. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 98. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 99. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must. Always have a red door light turned on. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 100. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 101. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 102. 
The reason you must be alert for road hazards is so. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Accident reports will be accurate. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.